My name is Evan Santapani. I'm a professional bodybuilder. That means I eat a lot. Luckily, I love to cook as much as I love to eat. For me, it's essential to not only eat in a way that supports my goals, but is as enjoyable and as healthy as possible. Follow along. We'll cook, we'll eat, and who knows what else. This is Evan's World. done. Today our subject matter is going to be a little bit different. Um, still based on nutrition. However, it might be some foods that you guys aren't accustomed to. We're going to talk about organs. This is something I've been doing regularly for the last probably two years. Uh, once or twice a week having some chicken livers. Um, sometimes having some chicken hearts. And bone marrow is one of my all-time favorite things. Now, why this stuff? Now, why not just stick to chicken breast, canned tuna, steak, eggs? Well, because not only is this stuff delicious when properly done, but I believe that it offers a sup some superior nutritional benefits. Chicken livers, now a lot of you guys know the benefits of beef liver, where for many, many years, one of the first supplements on the market, manufacturers made uh, desiccated beef liver tablets. That was for a reason. Beef liver and liver of other animals, chicken as well, is loaded, 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 loaded with nutrients. Tons of vitamins, minerals, other uh, nutrients as well. And in addition to heme iron, and it's a serious source of protein with pretty much no fat. I mean, decent amount of cholesterol, um, but it's very, very lean. Same thing with hearts, pretty much all protein. And, you know, if you consider the perspective there's a whole part of nutrition where people um, consume glandulars, meaning the glands, organs, et cetera, or extracts thereof, of um, corresponding parts of other animals. Where for example, if someone were having some type of liver issue, they would say, well, the smart thing to do is to consume the liver of another animal because it contains a lot of liver type stuff. But I will tell you this, as bodybuilders, uh, we consume a lot of lean flesh, right? We know that in order to recover and grow and support our own musculature, that it's beneficial to consume the lean tissue, basically the muscle of other animals. Uh, so we do that all the time. Not even, I don't think we're even conscious of it. Uh, some people say, well, proteins are proteins, maybe, but there are other substances just aside from protein that your liver contains, that chicken liver contains. Um, that you know your heart muscle contains and that the heart muscle of other animals will contain. Um, so I do believe that it may be smart to, uh, to consume organs. I don't believe the whole thing, people say, well, oh, liver is a filter. Shouldn't eat, you know, uh, liver of another animal. That's total bullshit, uh, in my opinion, because I don't believe that the liver is made to store toxins. Um, if the liver is overwhelmed, it kicks it out to the tissues. Fat cells store toxins. I think if, if liver was designed to store toxins, there's quite a few more people that would be dead. Um, so I do think that liver is safe. The only consideration is vitamin A, which chicken liver is fairly high in. Uh, you don't wanna overdose on, but if you were to eat it once, twice a week, you know, eight ounces or so, you're not gonna have any problem. But do yourself a favor, check out the nutrition facts, look up liver, and you're gonna be astounded at how potent of a food it is. So what we're going to do today is we're go I'm going to prepare it. I'm going to show you how I usually eat it. And believe me when I tell you, look, beef liver, I'm not a fan. I think it's disgusting. Chicken livers, on the other hand, taste great. Texture, fantastic. Same thing with hearts. I wouldn't be telling you guys to eat this stuff if it was, if it was just nasty. And we're going to prepare it in a way that makes it really uh, taste great. The bone marrow is going to be done in the oven. And bone marrow, nutritionally speaking, it's about a one-to-one -one ratio of fat to protein in grams. Right, so if a serving, say for example, has uh, of bone marrow has uh, 10 grams of protein, it also has 10 grams of fat, which actually means it has about double the amount of calories coming from fat as it does protein. But you know, I think that it's it's a worthwhile food source and something worth eating. It's delicious, and uh, you know, you guys know me. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of fat, especially in the off season. It's time to eat up, enjoy stuff like that. So what I've got here is a bowl, which I'm gonna line with a paper towel. Reason I'm gonna do that is a lot of times livers contain a little bit extra juices 
and we don't want to just dump all that in the bowl. I'm going to try to drain out whatever excess liquid is there. And just so you know, livers, even, you know, in contrast to a lot of other tissues, there's like no smell to it whatsoever. You know, it's very common to open up like a, a package of chicken breast and it has a little, not a bad smell, but it has a little smell to it. Livers smell like nothing. So before you think it's gonna be this like nasty, oh my God, it's so gross. Probably smells gross, tastes gross. No, it's not like that. So I use this towel to kind of soak up excess, well, blood. For people who are anemic, I don't think there's anything better than the consumption of liver. We're gonna use three ingredients. Well, four counting the liver. Liver, olive oil, salt, and oregano. You could add some fresh minced garlic to it if you like. I'm gonna leave it out. So you add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Hit it with some sea salt, some oregano. And I've got skewers here. And I'm just gonna mix the livers and oregano, salt, and oil around and I'm gonna skewer these. We're gonna throw them on the grill. And I know there's people out there that are cringing. Don't believe me when I tell you, this is good stuff. Just gotta prepare it right. And you gotta have an open mind. This package was a pound of chicken livers. Oh, by the way, they're fairly cheap. I think this package was about, I don't know, four dollars, three, four dollars which considering the nutrition you're getting, three to four dollars a pound is very cheap. We've also got hearts, which we're gonna do the same way. We're only gonna use about half that package. Same thing, just some olive oil, salt, oregano. Now, if you were gonna use minced garlic, it would be especially good on the hearts. All right. Same thing, I'm gonna skewer them up. You can see the valves on the heart. You kinda of just go through one valve and out the other end of it. For all you pussies on Instagram who like to compare yourself to lions, but you're screaming at the thought of this, just remember, lions eat the hearts and the organs of other animals. We are ready to throw this stuff on the grill. Let's do it. I've got this grill that's been heating up. It's around between four and 500 degrees. I wouldn't usually use nonstick spray on the grill. However, because the livers are on skewers and they're kind of delicate, I don't want anything to stick because when I go to move the skewers, it could tear and fall apart. So I don't want to get in any of that. So I'm just going to give this a light. <clears throat> a little light spray. And then I'm just going to throw them on. Nice. All right, these should be ready to be flipped. See if we can get them in one shot. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep, nice, nice, nice. Looking ready. Ah, oh, we got the hearts. And the liver. All right. Let's bring this stuff inside. All right, so we got the livers and the hearts just off the grill. I'm gonna cover them with some foil while we finish the rest of the stuff. I'm going to put the bone marrow. Now, this wasn't ideal, you know, the bone we use is a femur bone, right? It's a long bone. Rather than cut it into a bunch of little pieces like this, what I prefer is to cut the bone down the middle, a long way. Um, but you know, the guy at the butcher, he was afraid to do it that way. You know, well, I'm gonna take my hand off, blah, 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 blah. So we got him like this, which is not ideal, but we're gonna roll with it. 
just going to throw them on a sheet. We're going to hit them with some salt and that's it. Throw them in the oven. How would I make a meal out of this stuff? I'll tell you. I've got some rice that I cooked in my rice cooker, which, oh man, it smells good, is saffron and scallion and a little bit of marjoram. Oh, it smells so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the liver and the hearts over the rice. Could have the bone marrow with some crusty bread and some fresh parsley on that as kind of like an appetizer. Then the liver and the hearts, the rice, the main meal with a salad. I'm thinking like, you know, lettuce, cucumbers, maybe some dill and some chives in the salad. It'd be a nice meal. So we're gonna put it all together. To go along with our meal, I'm gonna make a nice salad. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got some iceberg here. You know, to be totally honest, some nice green and red leaf would have been maybe a little bit better, but this is what I had on hand. So I'm just gonna make use of it. I'm gonna chop it up kind of fine. Cucumbers. We got some fresh dill. Fresh dill in a salad is really very, very nice. Really, really delicious. We're gonna add some chives. We're just gonna use some olive oil and apple cider vinegar on this. It's gonna be very nice and clean and it's gonna cut kind of the richness of the liver and bone marrow as well. That's it, quick, simple. To go with the bone marrow, I've got some nice bread. The bone marrow, as it cooks, you know, a lot of the fat melts and turns to essentially like an oil. So we're gonna use the bread to soak up the oil. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. And to eat in an off season in a way that's conducive to growth, but also very simple um, and delicious at the same time, it's not hard to do. People say, well, I'm in an off season, I get to enjoy myself. I'm gonna eat donuts and pizza and fucking lasagna. Eh, not a good look. There's so much good food out there that you just, um, you know, we, it's, it's easy. I, I do the same thing too. You know, we get trapped in a rut. You know, days go by and you know, we do the same thing day after day, but do try different stuff. It, you'll be glad you did. All right, looks as if the bone marrow is done. And we got some bread in there I threw in there when you weren't looking to toast it. Let's pull it out. Oh yeah. All right, now what are we gonna do with this stuff? I'm gonna show you how I would put it together. Here's that rice I was talking about earlier that I prepared with saffron, a little bit of marjoram, which is an herb very similar to oregano, and some scallion which I'm gonna just put some on the plate. Hit it with some salt. I've got our chicken livers that I put aside. As well as some chicken hearts. There is nothing, believe me, when you taste this, right? It tastes like you're eating like, I don't know, like a sausage or something. It tastes great. It tastes a hell of a lot better than plain chicken breast. Just try it. But before you go, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the bone marrow. Not the proper knife to use for slicing bread. All right, nice big piece of bread. And you just scoop the bone marrow out of there and you can just kind of squish it. It's like butter times 5,000. All right, it's like this like, picture the steak, the fat on the best steak in the world, and this tastes better than that. fresh parsley on it. Little hit of salt. 
dude, believe me, try this. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. I truly, sincerely hope you guys give this a try. If not, I at least hope you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out Suntapani.com for more. I'll see you guys again soon.